Skidoo! How's it going? I need to turn my stuff down. Hi, Zelly! Did you already go to the market or are you yet to go to the market? It's Christmas market season. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, Zelly, because at, at least for the first part, I wanted to um, talk about the new H Bomber Guy video, which Jordan and I watched part of last night. Jordan, you're here too. We watched part of, we didn't get through a whole lot of it, um, but I wanted to, but I wanted to make sure I could hear myself. Sorry for the echo. Uh, I wanted to like have a chat because this is no spoilers, but this is plagiarism is something that obviously plagues academics, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, so I think it's a really important conversation to have, and I'm really glad that H Bomber guy raised the point. I mean, his examples are very specific to YouTube, um, but I think it's worth starting that discussion so I mean how many of you have watched it I'll actually like stop the the fun music now and go to my YouTube screen uh okay you plan to watch it today slash tomorrow okay I guess it's just me and Jordan then um so this is the video obviously and as you know like one of the reasons why I think this is fun to talk about. And also, I'm sorry, H Bomber guy. I picked like the worst screen still. Don't. <laughs> just don't. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to change that because. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, so maybe. Is there a title card? Go somewhere it's with those Michael's big Oh, cool. Sale. I get an advertisement. Your halls for less and get up to 50% off. So. 330. I don't think there is a good title card. Um, I used to have students actually complain about the fact that I don't use ad blockers, but the reason why I intentionally don't is so that I can support content creators like H Bomber Guy. Uh, so if you're wondering what I'm talking about, his name is there on the screen at the top. If you can read it, it's H Bomber Guy. The video is called Plagiarism in YouTube. And uh, it came out yesterday. It is a four hour long or three hour and 51 minute documentary about YouTube's problem with plagiarism. Um, and in particular, how content creators are, well, some content creators who have content mills are producing content so quickly because YouTube is monetized in a way um, in which quick content creation is, is the only way to be profitable, not the only way to be profitable, that's not fair to say, in order to maximize your profit for the least amount of effort, uh, you need to produce quick content uh, and, and very quickly, right? So this isn't just like, when we think of co uh, copyright claims, you know, like using a music video for too long or playing a clip of a movie that's too long. So, um, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about content creators who actually lift, in some cases, academic work. Like they go to someone's peer reviewed journal article or book and they just read it on screen, which I mean, is a choice, right? That is a style. There are plenty of documentaries who are adaptations of documentary books, but um, without appropriate accreditation, without appropriate citation and without giving the authors any kind of financial compensation, right? Um, one of the really interesting aspects of this is reading the comments on the YouTube video, which is just really eye-opening. There are a lot of academics there that point out, and hey, I'm an academic as well, uh, that when we write books, and I have written a book, Sexuality and Role-Playing Games, I've made $50 off of that book. So I think sometimes there's a misconception because academic books cost so much money. I mean, my book was hardback only for a really long time and it costs like $120. I saw maybe 50 cents of that. So in total, that book is almost 10 years old now and I've made 
fifty dollars total, right? And that book is a is a representation of like, God, how many years? A significant amount of my life. <laughs> Four or five years it took me to write that book. So academic publishing is not sustainable. It, like you can't make a living off of that. Not even close. All that to say that when content creators on YouTube lift academic work, which like citing academic work is fine, right? Most people I know love that. Um, as long as you appropriately quote and give appropriate citation, that could be awesome because it drives up interest in your work. You might sell more books, so on and so forth. But when it's not given appropriate citation, that is stealing that labor, right? It hasn't happened to me. I want to be clear. I haven't been like on YouTube and seen someone use my, my book inappropriately or like just read out passages of my book. Um, but if they had, I would be really upset because that's a lot of time and a lot of work that went into that. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't be getting any kind of compensation for it. Um, are you delaying the holiday market until next week? Okay. Sounds good. Um, you should totally hit up as many Christmas markets as you can because they're for holiday markets because they are super awesome. We had a great time yesterday. Um, yeah, I've seen conversations about podcasts lifting academic work without citations. Oh, that's really interesting. I haven't. It doesn't surprise me, but I hadn't actually heard that one before. Um, I'm not sure I've seen it about YouTube. Yeah, that's the whole four hour long documentary, which is very long, but for good reason. Um, so I, I didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare this. You can see this video came out 15 hours ago. Actually, maybe you can't see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, so I really wanted to no way to move the sidebar over, huh? Uh, I really wanted to like take screenshots and call out some comments in the YouTube. These are all public, by the way. I'm not showing anything private or anything that anyone you know, didn't know that the public would see. Um, there are some comments. I mean, this is a really good point. Hold on. Uh, I should have called them out. I want to take screenshots and collect them, but I didn't have time. Um, there are a lot. This is this is a good example. There are a lot of comments from people who felt duped by uh, these YouTubers, right? These are people who have supported these content creators on YouTube or some even like belonged to Patreon for these content creators and feel like they gave their money to a fraud. And that's part of the conversation that I had not considered previously and that I think is really important to address. So this um, user, Saskatoon Berry Pie, <laughs> which I love Saskatoon berries. I've actually never eaten one, but I had a guild member a long, long, long time ago who lived in Saskatoon um, who talked about their berries. Uh, I'm an academic who researches LGBTQ policy and had until now been a patron of James at the executive producer level. So they're talking about James Summerton. I was not familiar with James Summerton's channel, but uh, it's about media and LGBTQ issues. Um, so this person says that uh, they were supporting this content creator. I want to use some extra money from my paycheck to support more queer research and stories that I couldn't write myself. I now have my name over all over a bunch of plagiarized work. I'm having trouble describing my... Oh no, why can't I read more? Okay, well, is that because I zoomed in too far? Oh my gosh, that's so strange. Uh, I'm having trouble describing my frustration. Thank you for uncovering this. Um, this is a comment that, this is emblematic of comments that we see echoed throughout, right? Um, I'm gonna switch back to this view. Uh, it's really depressing, right? On a, on one level, it's sad because you think that, oh, wow, Zelly, you've watched a ton of Summerton's videos. 
Yeah, Patreon brings a whole new angle to this. And I'm glad to hear that H Bummer guy is covering the academic angle. Yeah, it's so worth watching. Um, so there's the frustration of being an academic and supporting someone stealing from academics, right? Like that feels bad. But there's also the frustration in feeling like uh, you thought you were supporting someone else's research. Again, speaking as an academic, when I see content creators, and I could list a few, um, Kaz Rao, uh, Rao, 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 Kaz Rao, is one of my favorites, who is a queer historian who covers queer history. And her work is very well cited. She follows really good policies and procedures by putting like, this is the book I read. Here is the, here's a paragraph from this book. I'm going to actually show you where it is in the book. This is, and I'm going to read it to you. This is informing my research. She cites things very, very, very well. Um, so I like supporting her because she's doing queer research that not a lot of, that has been traditionally an underserved area of research. Um, if I were to find out something about a content creator that I followed, that I really respected, that they had been doing plagiarism, which I want to be clear, Kaz wrote, to my knowledge, has not done that. And I don't think she would because, again, her stuff is really well researched. So I want to make sure I'm just using her as a good example of how to do it well. Um, but if I had found out something like that, I would be absolutely devastated. Uh, this feeling of being duped, I think, for me, comes close to how I felt about Illuminati. I support people make games, for example, and it feels like I'm contributing to their research funding. Yeah. Yeah, we donate money because we want to feel good about our donations and we want to make sure that we are supporting people who align with our values. And when we don't, it can make us feel like we haven't investigated who we're giving money to. It can make us feel silly. It can make us feel stupid. It can make us feel uh, duped, again, duped. This happened to me with Illuminati. Um, and I actually didn't know about her plagiarism issues. I was really excited for the H Bomber Guy video because of the Illuminati content. Um, in it, he shows, like he has very thorough receipts of where she plagiarized works in different videos. However, I started to get a bad smell from her channel. Um, First of all, let's talk about who Illuminati is. Illuminati was a channel that talked about multi-level marketing and did like exposés on evil corporations being very brief and very generic. You've probably seen all the YouTube drama surrounding her channel um, since since this. She's, you know, there have been allegations of plagiarism. There have been allegations of abuse. Uh, none of those are why I stopped watching the channel. Illuminati's channel was something I'd have on in the background while I was cleaning or cooking. And it was just kind of like, oh, that's interesting. Like she did a, a documentary expose on Lisa Frank, like the Lisa Frank as in the um, children's stationery company from the 90s that had all the rainbow unicorns and brightly patterned uh, leopards and, and animals and wildlife. I was a huge fan of Lisa Frank as a kid. So for me to hear that her business practices weren't the best was really interesting. So I started watching Illuminati's channel and from there just kind of, you know, had autoplay on while I was doing other tasks. And it all seemed fine, right? You know, I learned some things. I didn't take it that seriously. However, <laughs> for a channel who position themselves as being anti-multi-level marketing, and anti uh, uh, evil corporation. She started selling her own products. She started selling some candles that she had made. Um, and when she sold them, I mean, it's fine. You know, everyone has to make money. I understand how you have to monetize on YouTube. But when she started selling them, she did so by positioning this them- This extraordinary breakthrough um, is as helping better than this other brand of candle, which I just thought was not professional. Um, and then most of her channel was just ads. It just became ad after ad after ad. So 
Yeah, so I stopped, I stopped following her. And now, turns out the bad smell was accurate. Um, it could discourage people from supporting other legitimate creators if they get burned like this. Absolutely, that's a very good point, Sally. That is something I hadn't considered, but you were totally right. If people are going to be scared of getting duped, then they might not support legitimate content creators uh, who do their research and who do their citations and, and actually bring traction and visibility to academic work. So um, I had, I'm trying to see if I can pull, I'm scrubbing the video really quick. I wanted to pull a very quick, um, I know I said no spoilers, so I'm not going to play the video, but I want to show Illuminati's logo so that if you, you might recognize that more, but maybe I won't be able to. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, this video is four hours long. I am not through all of it, but it has been absolutely eye-opening and I think you should totally go and watch it in your copious amounts of free time. Uh, and how my internet didn't die. I think it's okay, right? One, was there another point I wanted to make? Talked about feelings of being cute. No, I think that was it. I think that's all I wanted to cover. Oh, no, that's not true. I want to cover one more thing. So why does this matter for academia? Um... There is, at some point in this video, uh, I was trying to find a nice still, real quick, to go back to. Um, yeah, I want to end by talking about why any of this matters. H Bomber guy points out that uh, this comes down to business, right? There's a business argument for why plagiarism is bad. By the way, the music I use in my stream, if you can hear it, is all copyright free. This has been, I'm not stealing artists' music. This is music that is freely given for use on streams. Um, so, students. This all goes back to students and plagiarism. Since I started teaching in higher education, mm, close to 10 years ago, so 2014 is when I started a real professor job, quote unquote real. I had been a graduate teaching assistant since 2010. Uh, so obviously I was dealing with plagiarism then. I did my degrees in sociology, so sociology degrees are a lot of paper writing. Um, but when I became my own my own real professor, when I was writing classes and when I was setting learning outcomes and learning goals and when I was making rubrics, plagiarism was something I discussed. It's also usually, I, I, I don't know this for certain, but I would be surprised if there was a university who does not list plagiarism against the student code of conduct. And the reasons are because it's illegal, number one. Um, but it's also an issue of integrity, right? To present someone's work as your own. For me, it goes beyond laws. It goes beyond student codes of conduct. It goes beyond grades, right? For me, the primary motivations of why students should not plagiarize and by extension, why YouTubers, why anyone should not plagiarize is because of an issue of integrity. Presenting someone else's work as your own is morally objectionable and wrong because you are not acknowledging the work, the blood, the sweat, the tears that someone else put into that labor. Um, H Bomber Guy points this out because he notes that these content creators typically don't steal from large content creators. Like they don't plagiarize Stephen King, to use a bad example. They're plagiarizing small content creators because they think they won't get caught and because they think it doesn't matter. So anyway, that's why, that's why um, 
I've always been really adamant about enforcing anti-plagiarism measures in my classes because it is an issue of integrity. If you are willing to steal from someone else and present their work as your own, what else are you willing to do? I wouldn't hire you. All right, let's play Chance of Sonar. Enough of that. It's really, in summary, go watch H. Bomber Guy. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, let's check Corgi Cam. Where did my mouse go? Why does this keep happening? Okay, sorry. Uh, Corgi Cam, aww, look at the puppy. Did his eyes just open? Oh yeah, that's a sleepy puppy. So sleepy. Just chill vibes. Oh, look at him breathing. So cute. Okay. Uh, we got Corgi came up. We got the heart rate monitor up. We got my eye tracker up. Let me know if that audio levels are, are okay. Sometimes I feel like the music in this gets loud. Um, and so sleepy and cute. I agree. I hope this is right. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Okay. I have an academic paper. Speaking of plagiarism in academia, I did not plagiarize this paper. But I have an academic paper out soon, hopefully. I have an academic paper in peer review. How about that? Let's be accurate with our words. Even though it's an early Sunday morning stream. I have a paper out in peer review about what we can learn about game design from reality dating show gameplay. One of the things is the use of user interfaces in shows like Love Village, uh, which is a Japanese reality dating show on Netflix that gives you this really cool screen overlay that shows who has expressed interest in who and whether or not that interest has been reciprocated. And they show this once per episode, like in the middle of the episode. And the reason why I'm enraptured with this idea I mean, it's not particularly, um, I mean, is it the most groundbreaking thing ever? No, it's convey. it's doing what user interfaces should do. It's conveying information, but it's conveying information in an extremely expeditious way and at an extremely expeditious time, wherein viewers just tuning in, like flipping through channels are able to be caught up really quickly on what has happened. And I wish video games did this. That is not possible for a game like Baldur's Gate, right? Like, that would be silly to try to do. But for a game like Chance of Sonar, it would be so cool if when you loaded, there was this overlay of, like, kind of... You kind of get this at certain parts of the game. Like, when you progress levels, it, it'll show you the um, tower and then what level of the tower you're on. I wish that was the load screen because I think that would help us remember where we are and what we're doing. I guess I didn't save last time after this. Did that not save? Oh, it did. Okay. It just started me there for... Yeah, previously on segments. Um, except done as one single static image. Because all reality shows do the previously on thing, right? Which is, can be kind of irritating. Um, but just as one static image would be so helpful so that as a streamer I could narrate previously on. Um, so we defeated the warriors last time and now we are, oh, what was the control? Okay, shift shows me what's interactive. Okay, so here's my idea, here's my pitch. It's a static image 
with where you're at in the game. Oh, fish! Uh, and a quick mock-up of the main controls of the game. So reminding me that I can hold shift and it'll show all the interactive. Oh, that is so cute. I want to go to there. But yes, conveying all that information in one static image would be amazing. There are people! Oh, I'm so glad we're out of the warrior zone. That's extremely stressful. Okay, so I can't talk to them, but I can talk to them. Oh. Okay, so that's probably hello. Something warrior, something, something. Okay. From our previous, uh, from the sign, the, I don't even remember what the sign said, Warriors Can't Pass sign in the previous screen, we learned that there are, like, bookend words. I'm so sorry. I am not a linguist. If there are any linguists in the audience, please tell me what that means. But there seems to be a word that's repeated at the start and at the end of the sentence. So this seems like it's happening again. Uh, we have this symbol, which I think means hello or greeting. So let's make note of that. And then we have symbol, warrior, something, something, and then a symbol. I do not have context for this. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is punctuation because we haven't really had punctuation yet. And like in Spanish, if you're asking a question, when you type out a sentence, you have the upside down question mark. Again, I don't remember what that's called <laughs> in Spanish. Yeah, but I've been yawned. <laughs> Just good for me. So maybe this is a question mark. Uh, wait, can, will the game... Can I? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I can input symbols. There we go. I still remember that's Alt One Six Eight. I'm so old that when I did Spanish class, you had to memorize <laughs> the codes uh, to get the right symbols. Actually, since there's already a question mark, I can do that. Nice. Okay. It's probably greeting. That's probably a chosen one. And then we don't know like warrior you are. It doesn't hurt to guess. So let's just guess. Uh, this language involved a lot of talking to the same people lots of times with slowly piece things together. Oh! Oh, great. So here's that repeated... Hey, I feel good about my guess. So if this person's asking, are you a warrior, then this person's like, oh, no. Not warrior. You're not a warrior. Uh, something warriors... Something, ugh, something warriors are. Yeah. I don't even have a guess. Okay, I said that last time though, and then I was able to parse together potential meanings, so. Uh, I guess I should give it a try. Okay, what are warriors? They're covered in armor. Uh, armor? I'm, this is, this game should be called Context Clues. <laughs> Blues Context Clues. I do enjoy the music. Can y'all hear the music? 
Can y'all hear me? I wonder if I turn down the volume too much. If I recall correct, the music in this game is quite loud. Though. Okay. Let me know if it's too loud. Oh, this dude has a really cool hat. And he's just hanging out. Um, these levels kind of... Oh, it is louder than me. Okay. Sorry. Let's pop that down even more. Lower, not higher. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, let me know if that's too low. Um, the music's very good, but it can it can kick it can kick up a notch, right? Uh, oh, good. Thank you so much. Thanks for helping me troubleshoot that. Oh no. Oh, this isn't giving me anything to go off of. Blank, 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 R. Oh boy. Okay, I think this is what Zelly was saying, but you're gonna have to talk to him a few times. Okay, let's talk to this person again. Because this oh. person's. Like beauty? Something beauty? Is this beauty? Or is it mirror? These feel like nouns. The worst part is I'm gonna have to talk to a bunch of people before I can get the other ones. Because the other ones also seem. Well. No adjectives, not nouns, hey. adjectives. <laughs> hey! Oh gosh, this person's talking fast. Uh, chosen ones blank are beauty blank plural blank beauty blank you blank. And we know it's not R because we already have R. So it's probably beautiful. This one's like sick or upset and this one's joyous and love I don't know okay I'm not gonna panic just yet <laughs> <laughs> what did I walk in on <laughs> this language I found help by doing laps and talking to everyone okay I don't know, man. Scary? Scared? Alright, we're gonna speed run this, because... Oh, wait, no, I wanna... Come on, camera. Come on, camera, please. Oh, okay. So this one's probably music. It's good. Oof. Drama, comedy, arts. Uh, acting. Arts? Arts. Let's try arts. Oh, that guy's still going, huh? <laughs> I do love that the, the his routine never gets old. Sorry, their routine never gets old. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got that one. Okay, uh, he said hello. Music something, plural something. Something you something? Oh boy. Crap, what is this? An entertainer? That's an entertainer, but how do I. Okay, we know the greeting. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I plug it in now or later, right? Okay. There's greeting. 
this person looks like they're questioning. So maybe question. Maybe I can fill this in actually. So what do we think is the word for entertainer? This one? Oh, uh, maybe because, oh, crap, maybe not. All right, well, the reason I got hopeful is because these glyphs look similar. So if this is like the concept of art, then an artist might be that. Well, maybe, no, this is the glyph for music. So I was thinking maybe this is a musician, although they're clearly acting and playing music at the same time. So pretty sure that's beauty. Okay, let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a, an environmental clue. I, I don't even want to write anything down for these folks because I want to try and find an environmental clue that's going to give me a few more a few more details before I start guessing. Aww. Not blank, blank, not beauty. Like blank, chosen ones, blank are. Okay. Well, this is a puzzle, and I do not have the key to solve the puzzle. So let's keep moving. Have I talked to these folks? I cannot talk to those folks. Okay. Oh, cool, another monkey. Okay. I think I have to go get some bananas. So that had a bunch of words that I do not know. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to give the monkey something. Is that a servant? And then the monkey will play the organ thing. It's not really an organ thing. I don't know what it is. And then I will get a little animation that will tell me that will give me the opportunity to use context clues. Can I follow this person? Can I follow this person? Don't be shy. Follow this person. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, that sucks. That sucks that that person didn't even, like, notice me. Or was like, okay, I guess. I don't really have a say in you being here. Uh, shift. What can I interact with? I can go places. I see no bananas. I am looking for bananas. Hi, Kurazar! Thank you for joining us. We are looking for bananas. Again, if I had a, a static overlay, I would update it. Ooh, is this a puzzle? Ah, uh, I love a jigsaw. Okay. I'm in. I don't even need to know if I have all the pieces. I don't care. I love a good jigsaw. Too easy. My favorite thing to do during the holidays, like literally any holiday, is jigsaw puzzles. I sought you, you found me, you, oh no. Oh, we've seen this image so many times. Oh, duh, okay. Well, that's silly. I just realized that this is the devote, the devote, what were they called? Level one, this is the level one language. So now I can translate. Oh, so this is also a different sentence structure. So I sought you, you, I sought. So this means I, which would make sense because it comes up an awful lot. Okay, let's try it. I, and then 
this one. I forgot that you can just, you don't have to keep exiting out. They give you this nice little user interface up there. Uh, so this is sought or seek. Okay, you found me. I, you found. This one's found. Cool. Well, we got some more words. I don't think that helps. Like, unless... Hmm? I don't think I really know what this illustration is trying to get at, but... Right, okay, I got really confused. Uh, it's asking me to fill in based on what we already know from the other level. All right, we did it. That felt anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, good job. No, nothing. That's fine. How's everyone doing? Has anyone gone and done any like holiday markets? That was the other topic of conversation earlier. Need to stretch, need to hydrate. You and me are such useful glyphs to have. That is true. Because you see this image or this glyph repeated and it's like, that's obviously a significant word. But what is the significance? Well, this person's not yelling at me, so that's different. That's useful. Okay, what else can I do? I can go this way. So let's go this way. And we can just watch this person work. Oh, okay, so I don't think that's actually entertainer. This is probably an artist, because it looks like they might be crafting an instrument in an artisan kind of way. So maybe we switch entertainer to artist, at which point my previous assumption of arts and artists, those look related, right? So I think, I think that's good. Perfect. We are getting many more context clues. Well, crap. Oh. Shit. I thought I, I thought I was so clever and now I have I was thinking in this kind of art artist, but now we have music arts in an instrument and I don't think I have a symbol for instrument. Unless it's, it's that simple. Maybe that is... <sighs> okay, good. I did it. I, I had to actually stop. This channel is supposed to be a think aloud. I I mean, in a very loose sense of the of the method of the of the toolkit, because I don't have a moderator or a proctor standing here, prompting me to think aloud. However, I do my best. I do my best, and I try to narrate my actions and what I think the game is asking me to do. I am now more conscious, more aware of when the protocol breaks down because my cognitive load is too high. 
I wish I had, uh, oh, what is it called? Where you can sense brain activity. The biometric equipment that allows you to sense brain activity. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly want to stick electrodes on my head and get my hair all gelled up and gross. But I just want to point out there are a few times in this game when my cognitive load, my cognitive processing to solve a puzzle has been so high I am unable to speak, which is very interesting, right? Um, and I'm someone who loves puzzle games. I love escape rooms. I play the escape room in a box all the time. I particularly like the exit games like that is that is my jam that is, in addition to jigsaw puzzles I play those puzzle games every single Christmas every single Easter like anytime I have time off of work that is what I'm doing because I love puzzles in this puzzle trying to think of the difference between instrument art music artistry like art as a philosophical concept and art as a product trying to articulate the differences in that linguistically was so much that my brain broke so note that one down <laughs> that's good that's good it means the, the puzzle was challenging sufficiently challenging that one took me so long who needs to speak okay are we back have we been here before this level um and when i say level i i mean like large level overall not just the space but the area of the chosen ones has such beautiful architecture but it is repetitive in a way that the warrior area wasn't um and so i'm finding it difficult to discern if i've been in in an area before okay this is some sort of pagoda but i don't would a pagoda be labeled pagoda that seems strange and i can't even see Is it the same symbol all the way around? Yeah, okay. Uh, huh. Okay, Pagoda. You don't get penalized for guessing, so we'll just keep guessing. I do see now what you were saying, Zelly, about going back to where you were before. And um, I can already tell with the few conversations we've had. The more language, the more translations we have, I think the previous conversations on the past screen would make more sense. Okay, what is this person saying? Something me, something me. Something you seek, want. Hmm. I'm going to type in poor. I think this person is an actor who's like, poor me, poor me. Poor you want. I don't know. Oh, that's not it at all. They actually dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> I was way off. What? What? I'm sorry. What just happened? I thought the the scene was gonna be. Hmm. Okay, it's probably help, right? Help me, help me. I thought the scene was going to be me reaching into the grate and plucking out the ring. And instead I'm just like, yeah, that's a ring. You sure, sure did lose it. Oh, that can't mean pagoda then. Why would that say pagoda? If this is like the sewer thing. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay. Well, let's go get a magnet. Wait, that doesn't work with gold, right? Does that work with gold? I'm not sure. This seems like it goes to a new zone. I don't know if I want to go to a new zone. I kind of want to go back through and check. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, 
guess we're gonna find out, right? If I talk to this person, will I automatically oh. go to the new zone? Not blank me not. Me blank not. Oh boy, this is going so fast. I think they're trying to communicate that the ship doesn't work. Uh, uh so work? I mean, we've seen this symbol before. Oh, I don't know under what context we've seen that symbol. Maybe that one's work? Oh. Ah, crap. Maybe that ship? Are they asking me if I want to ride? There's a puzzle piece. Okay, I don't have the puzzle piece. But I can go over here. I definitely recommend going back and talking to some of the same people again. Absolutely, I will. Stop. I refuse to believe the person fixing the ship has all these tools and is like, no, I'm not going to go in the building though. You have to go get them for me. Oh, unless I'm, am I supposed to guess which tool they want? Oh. I mean, good luck. Okay, I can only carry one tool at a time. Well, let's see. What does this look like? That kind of looks like a wrench to me. Although this is a ship building tool. All right, I'm going to go with the wrench. I'm going to guess I can guess myself. I think it's a wrench. <laughs> they are tired. Well, get, guess what? Me too. Oh, oh crap, oh. really? Look at the wall. That probably illustrates it pretty well. Oh, he wants a hammer, huh? <laughs> okay. Do I need to... Can I... Can I use that here? Can I, okay. So this is a wrench. That was way off. This is a hammer. So not a ship. But a hammer. And then saw has been kind of erased. How convenient. So. You can't do that. You erased the saw. I don't know what saw is. Okay, hammer, wrench. I don't, we don't have another symbol for saw, right? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Okay, I guess we're going to have to wait. Uh, go get the hammer, and then we will go. Launch creamy ranch dressing sunday is for chanting although we did talk about oh. plagiarism for the first like 30 minutes which is a type of chanting no it's not uh sure just gonna throw the hammer at him okay good i ran over to give it to him <laughs> although it is still perplexing Ew. Uh, I hope they're complimenting me. Helpful. This language seems like it has a lot more adjectives in it than previous languages. Which would make sense because uh, the chosen ones are supposed to be more erudite, right? The, the learned, if you will. Mm hmm Oh, thank you, but I don't want to. Okay, I'm just going to run away. Why is it that I can't talk back? Like, I know some of the words, right? Okay. 
I wish I hadn't clicked on them. Because I know where this is going. Was there a tool I could use? To fish out the ring? I don't think so. And I think the only... I think I have to go back. How do I go back? This feels inefficient. This feels like there's another way to go back that I'm missing. <laughs> this figure, you're expecting another package and almost opened the one I sent, but you didn't. Okay, good. I don't think that's what we got. Oh, this is how I get to the ring? So I probably have to come from that direction, maybe? Is there anything I can do here? Okay. How do I solve this puzzle? I have to get in there. Maybe I follow this pipe and see if there's another, like if it goes around somehow. I'm not convinced. There must be another. Love the style of larger areas. They drop just enough detail to keep focus. Yeah, it feels like where's Waldo in a good way. And I cannot elaborate further. Um, Spanker, did I tell you about my mom sending me stuff? I don't think I did. <sighs> oh, I can't get to the other side of the circle yet. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to backtrack then. If I'm not missing something here. Okay, so my mom is lovely, but she's a little dopey. And I mean that with all the affection in my heart. So, she... <laughs> texts me and is like, hey, I want to send you Christmas presents, but I don't want you to open them until Christmas. I'm like, bet. Sounds great. So she says, um, to be efficient, I'm just going to send them from the vendor directly to your home. Okay, great. Sounds great. And she was like, I will write in for the name, I'll address it to grandma. And that way, you know, that I'm sending you or your child a gift for Christmas. Okay, great. Got it. She said, do not open these until Christmas. Like, the whole reason I'm putting the name on it is so that you know that these are not, like, your regular Amazon order and you don't accidentally open them, right? Because uh, I know you're expecting other packages, so I'll just make sure that I put Grandma on it so you know. Like, okay, that sounds great. So a bunch of packages come in because... Grandmas are going to do what grandmas are going to do and going to buy kids. Oh, there's like a fruit and apple or something. Find that apple. Uh, they're going to buy kids a lot of stuff, which is great. Um, so I get a bunch of packages and they are all in, you know, shipping wrapping. And I can tell some of them are like boxes inside of the package. So I was, my plan was, this is also me confessing a little bit. My plan was to unwrap it, have the wrapping paper that I want to use set out. Also, it's important to me to wrap things because I have a small child and she really likes tearing up paper. So I think the paper is more fun than the gifts at this point. So I really wanted to wrap it. So uh, I waited until she was at school and then I closed my eyes pulled the item out, put it in the wrapping paper, and put, covered it, right? So, like, great. I didn't see what it was, and now I can have fun paper for my child to tear into. So I get the tape, and I'm about to tape the wrapping paper on the package when I see a little bit, I see a peek of what's inside. And it's a it's a device for extracting, like, drywall screws. <laughs> there's... It's not a toy, right? Like, there's no way that this is a toy. So... So I was like... 
maybe this is a gift. Like we're constantly, our home is constantly under construction because I get these silly projects in mind thanks to Pinterest and TikTok and whatever else. So I'm like, okay, maybe this is actually a gift for me or for my husband. So I'm glad I opened it. Now I can just address the label, you know, the tag to one of us. So I finish wrapping it and then do the same thing. But now I'm curious. So with the next package, I'm like, I'm just going to see. I'm just going to, this one I'm going to look at because now I'm suspicious. Open up the next package and it's a Dremel. <laughs> Like, okay, this is also not appropriate for a child. So glad I opened it. Uh, gonna go ahead and wrap that. Don't know who that's for. But I got to a situation where I was like, hey, Zelly, how do I tell my mom I don't think the presents she sent are for my child, for her granddaughter, and, and that maybe she sent like my address for her standard Amazon shipping. So now... I'm getting all of her like Amazon deliveries. Um, yeah, so so Zelly had a great solution, which was to say, "Hey, I've gotten five packages, or what, however many. Are those all for Vesper, or did, are those all for you know your granddaughter, or did you like is that did I get some that may be are accidentally yours?" Um, one of my coworkers is also like, "You could say." I had a friend oh. wrap them, and the friend noticed that there was something that was maybe not appropriate for a baby in there. <laughs> so I, I'm currently taking the coward's way out, and I'm like, well, you know what? This is kind of a fun, this is a little bit of chaos, a little bit of fun. I think I'm just gonna leave it. And on Christmas morning, <laughs> I'll just send her a picture of our child with uh, a Dremel and be like, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I think that's the, the true Christmas spirit. Um, maybe the symbol is ser, like to be. Let's try it. Um, well, I don't know. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I goofed that one. Alright, let's keep talking to people. Let's talk to this artist. Sharpening some garden tools with a new drum. That's <laughs> Fisher Price, my first hardware oh. tools. having to stretch extra today <clears throat> we went to a holiday market uh, run by craft lake city i love them they are a artist market nonprofit that has a twice a year big market event um they do one in the summer and one in the winter and we went to the winter one yesterday and it was just so cool there's so many cool talented creative people in Salt Lake, so uh, they also had gin. <laughs> so that's why I'm stretching a little extra. Um, greeting, we are chosen ones. <sighs> Beauty. Maybe this is make instead of M. Maybe this is make. Like I make things beautiful. We make beauty. Do you make beauty? Yeah, that would make sense, right? No, I'm just extraordinarily good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Scary I am, I guess. Well, that works, right? Um, music, beauty, comedy. Or acting or something. Mm -hmm. There's this, there's one this weekend. I won't make it to, but there are others around I want to check out. You totally should. They're so fun. And I imagine if we have gin in Salt Lake, then there's probably glue vine where you are. 
that's the one thing I really missed out on. Having a holiday market with Levine. Oh. Mulled wine, spiced wine. Oh, so good. Huh? Oh, well. Maybe it's not make. Maybe it's enjoy? Music. We. Because this person is not making music. They are listening to music. So maybe this one's like enjoyment. Enjoy. We enjoy music. Do you play an instrument? Okay. Crap. Uh, you. This guy's play? Instrument you play? Yeah, that works, right? Okay, we're figuring stuff out. This is good, this is good. There's a fruit here? Ah, oh, crap. <gasps> there is a banana. Ah, oh, We're gonna get to see those monkeys. This is a very weird shaped fruit. I thought it was a banana, but it's shaped like a chili without a stem. It's a very skinny mango. That's what the kids are calling it these days. Oh, there's another one. Can I, how many pockets do I have? Hey, I didn't go this way last time, did I? I think I did. Oh, good. I was worried it was gonna be like, no, you can't. Your pockets aren't that big. You're gonna have to come back. Now I know to look in trees. Thank you, Zoe. Oh, I have been here before. I just didn't recognize it because of the perspective. And I found fruit. Are there three monkeys? I'm not sure. But I am excited to see a monkey. Where were the monkeys? Is there anywhere to go over here? This this is the starting area. Not starting area, but close to the starting area. Right, okay. I can go up here. Most of these levels I've noticed are built in like a square. Like they there's two ways to go around the square, um, if that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, uh, here we go. Monkey number one. Although, maybe I don't want this to be monkey number one, because I think I got most of that already. I don't know if that monkey is going to give me any new information. So let's... If there are only two fruits... And three monkeys. I want to make sure. Oh, I, I filled most of these in too. Hmm. All right. Well, let's give them a fruit. Oh, it's a sweet potato. Okay, seeking him not. That makes sense. If I beauty, that makes sense. I am a chosen one. Okay, give me back. Give me that back. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like taking sweet potatoes from a monkey. Oh, there's another fruit. Okay, good. Alright. There's your sweet potato. Blank warrior play. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think I think I've uh I think I got this. So maybe sword or weapon? Like warriors play with weapons. And then uh, a saw. A saw. Did we learn for saw? I think we can solve for saw now. Uh, worker. Worker. 
Thought armor worker. This monkey was extremely helpful. I mean, I wouldn't say that workers play with saws, but no one's asking me. We did it! Yay! Thank you, monkey! Why had a capuchin so notoriously vague with their information? <laughs> As the monks they are named after. Uh, the sweet potato is named Big Larry. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, I wish I had gotten three sweet potatoes so I could look at the UI for all three. Spin them around. Now I want sweet potato. Hmm. Alright. This monkey already had a sweet potato and threw it away. So. Okay. Beauty. Chosen ones. Enjoyment. Oh. Beauty gives the chosen ones enjoyment. Weapons give warriors enjoyment. I'm sorry. What? That last one threw me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need you to hit me with that again. Okay, beauty gives chosen ones en enjoyment. Weapons give warriors enjoyment. Workers just are? <laughs> The, okay, the, the, sorry. Think aloud again broke down. Um, that is a lot to process. I, you're really working for the sweet potato. I'm sorry. This is enjoyment, right? Like, they look really stoked to have their items. And then the worker is drunk or sad? Is this wine? Are they saying that the workers get drunk? I mean, that's messed up. And also, who wouldn't enjoy wine? But in the previous levels, there have been quite a few bottles, right? So are they like... <sighs> Is this... Is this enjoyment or is this drunkenness? I guess. Is that have? Like, what is that? Brute forcing it. I'm so sorry. We're just brute forcing it. Is that playful? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oops. Wrong tab. Looks like pleasant drunkenness. Yeah, I think so. We still have. We have a bunch to fill in. Okay. So we still have this one. The only one I'm sure of here is beauty. I think that's beauty. And then this to me looks like acid reflux. And that is not one of the options we have. Uh, maybe this is chosen ones. I don't know. And then this is enjoyment or something. Hmm. So I don't even have a guess for any of these. <sighs> no. Okay. So it's not enjoyment. Is that helpful? No. Why would that be helpful? I don't know. Um, <sighs> this is silly.
This is a fun, this is a fun and engaging stream. Okay. Well. Okay, well that's greeting. We know that. That's legit. We got that one locked in. This seems to be the question. Because this person's not sure. And then this is an artist, right? Didn't we have something for artists somewhere? Uh, crap. Ugh. Oh, good. Okay, well, we got one. Enjoyment equals love. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, a bard. Look at that. Oh, I was right with the question. Awesome. Okay, so uh, enjoyment is love. Symbol for enjoyment. Oh, there we go. So, the, no, well, that's right, right? It's just the, okay. So this this is the one that we don't know. Uh, the acid reflux. This might be a symbol we haven't discovered yet. I mean, acid reflux is pretty scary for me. Oh, nice. That's not wine at all. That's B. Okay. So my initial guess for this one was R. Like, I was thinking of like, ser, like R or to be, which is a really difficult verb because it changes completely based on what tense you were using it in. Um, so I was initially right. And then the last monkey animation convinced me it was wine because it was like workers are drunk which is a problematic statement that I would never make but the game I thought did so don't don't read into that it was Ashley making commentary about the working class okay uh so but like what is this then <laughs> like this is clearly Play? Is this playfulness? I don't know. We're process of eliminationing it. Or maybe it, that's the scary one? Oh, uh, the figure carrying a box is a worker. Okay, so then we just need to figure out if this is what is this? Buffoonery. Pleasant drunkenness, the Spinker said. Process of elimination. Do we not have the word for it? Hmm. I don't think we have the word for it yet. But this should all be like filled in now, right? The bards love beauty. <laughs> Workers be like. <laughs> silly. This is silliness. Uh, okay. I'm going to go back to this other monkey that I kind of glossed over before and see if we can get anything new, any new information. Seeking I'm not, beauty I found, bard I am. Okay. I wonder if that seeking has anything to do with, um, like, seeking God in the previous level. The devoted, I think the game called them. It's not play me, we, the verb is use. Let's see. Let's change play to use. Okay. Well, I think we've we've solved we've solved a lot of puzzles so far. We're doing great.
Okay, now this person says, what the heck? That's what I want to do. Greetings. Cool. We love music. What instrument do you use? Okay, I think is what they're trying to say now. I feel like I'm missing a level, like some for some reason I didn't go a specific way. <laughs> Seems like I'm missing. I'm missing something. And I'm stuck in a loop. Maybe there's more to do with the ring and the sewer. Also, I want to talk to this person now that we filled in more of the language because I think they're just like, oh. I'm pretty. I love beauty. I am beauty. Tight. I thought that's what they were saying, but I just, you know, it's nice to have confirmation that they're just like, my job is to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Right, so I could go down there and, uh, right, this is just a loop, okay. This level is probably the most difficult for me to navigate so far. I find the square courtyard format, the repeated square courtyard format to be really uh, similar. So I think this is the only way I can go. I think I have to go down to the basement. And then I'm there's clearly a party because I'm missing the party icons. Okay, I've already been here and we solved that puzzle. I think I know what we're getting mixed up. Okay. For the last puzzle notebook puzzle. What? No, don't go that way. Keep going. The figure carrying a box is for use, play, wield. Oh. So not worker. Use. Oh no. Did this just get so much worse? We are very far, but I want to go back to the monkeys because I think, I thought the chosen ones were saying that workers were drunkards, but now they're just saying that they're idiots. Also, Spanker, what does it say? about us that we were like this is a good time party guy <laughs> the, and that image is actually really offensive now that I look at it I hate this can we um, burn the bards alive I'm just it's just an idea I'm just floating it Hypothetically. Aww. The bards are classist AF. Which sucks. Because they shouldn't be. If you believe in love and truth and beauty. Although, I mean, that is fitting with the... I'm beautiful lady. Okay, let's go talk to the farrier. Not farrier. Ew. Farrier kind of references someone who shoes horses. Um, instead of that, let's talk to the ferryman. Is there a gender neutral term for a fairy? Someone who takes a fairy back and forth. I was going to see if I could pick up a tool to try and get the ring out. I don't think I can. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Here I am yawning. Have fun at the market. Okay. Good luck with words. Thanks. All the words. Enjoy. Okay. Well, I guess we have to get on the boat. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to. 
Perfect. Here we go. This is a new area where hopefully I'll be able to get something to get the ring out of the sewer. Although I'm still not sure why the person won't just pick it up themselves. Um, something just occurred to me. Is the player character like the messiah in all this? Is that a thing? Okay, um, keep that in mind. I'm gonna take a quick ad break and then I'll be right back and we will spend another half hour playing this game. So quick ad break. Ad breaks, um, I don't get any money for them, which makes me sense. And then it's nice because I can take a drink of water and stuff. So even though I do not profit from them, I don't profit from the stream at all. Uh, it's a full break. Okay, so that area is maybe the pagoda area? Okay, that makes a little more sense because we saw the pagoda symbol on the sewer grates and I thought that's strange maybe that symbol actually means sewer oh I have to pop the audio down sorry okay that's better sorry about that um at first I was thinking that I had the translation wrong but you know how in cities like the manhole cover on streets has like the name of your city on it could be something like that all right, where to go first? Uh, I kind of want to go downstairs. Let's see what's going on in the basement. This actually might let us go and get the ring, right? Oh, we have new symbols. Okay, well, we want to go toward the pagoda because we can get that ring. I'm just going to pick directions, but we came from the left. Remember that. There's so many of these um, directional puzzles that I don't get. I know, well, rather, I'm sure. Okay, I still can't walk in water. I'm sure that the... liquid is supposed to be gold. I I wish it were a different color is all I'm going to say. We don't need to address it any more than that. Hmm. I'm trying to like stay confined to the area that says it's the pagoda. Okay, that was just a giant loop. So, we've gone here and here, and that didn't work out for us, so let's go here, and if not, we'll go back up. Uh, oh, 
we get more choices. Uh, let's try going upstairs. Although that didn't work for us last time. Maybe we are in a different place. Holy crap, this is amazing. Okay, I guess. This feels hopeless. <laughs> Again, I stopped talking for a while because I am thinking really hard and I don't... There are a lot of doors. Oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. So when we were at the Pagoda level, we went into a basement and we saw a sewer and it was implied that we should try and get behind the door with the intention of trying to help that person get their ring that had fallen in the sewer. But now I kind of think, I don't know what I think. It's really confusing. I feel like we've been here before. I feel like we're lost in a maze. I don't know how to get out of here, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask or try. We're gonna die down here. We are absolutely gonna die down here. There's only one way this game ends, and that's with me dying in these catacombs. What? What is happening? <sighs> okay. If I stick to the pagoda labeled, I, I don't even know that it means pagoda, but if I stick to the paths labeled as pagoda. Hi, rat. This level has rats and not lizards. I miss our lizard friends. Uh, then at least I can't get too lost, she says in theory. Ha 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 ha. We were just here. I don't. Now, hey everyone, set your timers, set your watches for a countdown until I IG in this. We're gonna die down here. Uh, oh, eh, did we already go that way? It feels like we did, right? It's so hard to tell if we already went this way. Um, no, we did not go this way. Okay, this is helpful. I wish there was a way to mark passage. Like, I wish we had a... Oh, this feels familiar, but maybe it's not. We've definitely been here before, right? Because of the rat? Is that the same rat? Yes, okay. <coughs> we had been there before. <sighs> there are games that give you like an object in your inventory that you can just put down on the ground that signifies that you've been that way before, which is super helpful. So you're not just wandering around in circles feeling like you're gonna die. But here we are. I feel like I'm doing something very obviously wrong. But I don't know that I'm doing it wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I have a flawed thinking strategy. I need to think outside the button. So, this very well could be the gate. Let's run up to it and see. Remembering from the pagoda level, when I went to the basement, I saw a gate that was not dissimilar to this one, and I couldn't pass through it. So, maybe the function of this gate is not to give me access to the ring. Maybe the function of the gate is to provide a quick way for me to go between the pagoda level and the... Whatever this is level. 
Um, I think if we're going to use that strategy, I think we have to go up because where the ring dropped, it was very shallowly in the sewer. So I, I think we're too far down. So I want to follow the pagoda signs, but I want to go up. Maybe the symbol means like there's stairs up to the surface. So uh, I don't know up. And then this one stairs. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if this takes us to the surface. Where the hell did this take us? <laughs> Somehow it's gotten worse. How did it get worse? Can, can we go up there? Oh boy. But this is up to the pagoda if our translation's right. Our translation probably is not right. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, we're super lost, but those look like stairs. Oh, you know what? That's probably not, that's not, our translation's off. Yep. So this is two, not up, but like this goes to stairs or to the pagoda or to wherever this is. I don't know. Hopefully this goes to the sewer with the ring in it because that's where we're trying to go. Is this, this looks very familiar. This looks like the basement we went into where we um, saw this door we couldn't pass through with stairs. Maybe. I think all these doors look the same. This is new, this is exciting. Okay, there's a glyph that has been spray painted over another glyph. So what do we think this means? Probably a swear word. Maybe classist? Right. Is that how you spell classist? If you correct me, then you're classist, so you can't. <laughs> Kidding. Ooh, we just found the underground resistance. Okay, so I'm going to guess, based off of the fact that their chain's breaking, that this is the worker's movement, and they're probably not saying be classist. So let's go and change our definition. Let's change that to, oops, rebel. That would make more sense, right? Be a rebel. Or revolutionary. All right. This is the rebel base, cool. The plot thickens. However, we are still not helping that person with their ring. So, it's the whole reason I came to the basement in the first place. Uh, I think our strategy of of only following the pagoda symbol was a bad strategy. So let's, I want to note down what this means so that we can find our way back to the rebel base if we need to. And I think that looked like sanitation or like a janitor station. So I'm gonna write janitor for that. Can you inadvertently make a sign that insults everyone mothers? I, you know what? Thank you for humbling me and bringing me back to my roots. Uh, the last time we played this game, if there was a symbol we didn't know, we would make it say butts. And that was kind of our shorthand for we don't know what the symbol means. Um, and then it leads to comedy gold, like to butts. All right, we're following butts. Why wouldn't we? 
Oh, to butts. Although, this is hopefully the way out. Oof. We're gonna die down here. All because I decided to label something butts. Now I can't find a way out. Okay, that's a dead end. So, is this the way I came in? No. These signs don't seem to mean anything. To the janitors, yeah, I mean roughly, but you have to make like 17 more turns. Alright, we're just trying to get to bots. Oh, stop. Hate it when I click on the sign accidentally instead of. Oh, we found butts! Look at that. Okay, butts has a puzzle with baby. What? Okay, this is uh one of the decoding tablets. The men of the Abbey are free. The men unreadable. So uh, the men of the Abbey are free. So Okay, so this is probably men, not rebel. And not butts. Um, blank. Wait, no. Hmm. So maybe this is m men because it's plural? Okay, let's try that. But then this can't be. Is this the? We haven't really had the before. The men. So this one's free. Freedom. Okay. Okay, I need to see this. Men unreadable. Oh, we're missing the Abbey. Which one's the Abbey? This must be Abbey. The bee looking glyph instead of the. Okay, we're getting there. We're solving this. Uh, Abbey men are free. This, this, where's the symbol? Why don't I see that? Oh, there we go. It's right in front of me. Okay. Um, so that's being enslaved, right? I think the workers are enslaved. I don't think they're here by the free world. Free will. Oh wait. Ah, I was supposed to click on something else. Okay, well I went a little dark a little quick because <laughs> I don't think it's um, enslavement. I think it's uh, the fortress. Whoops. I, I'm... <laughs> As soon as I find out that the bards are classist, I immediately think they're just giant pieces of shit <laughs> capable of, like, atrocities. <laughs> like, wow. Okay, we called workers idiots. That doesn't mean that we're slavers. Like, doesn't it, though? Doesn't it, though? Okay, that's my own bias. Um, not butts. This is probably tower or fortress. And then, 
This is free. This is men. Hey, legs on my desk. How are you? And then this is probably Abby. Oh no, we got something wrong. What did we get wrong? Okay, I, I have to go back and look. I've gotten something jumbled. What did I get jumbled? So he get Abby and Men swapped. But that wouldn't make sense because that would be. I mean, I'm not right because I'm missing. I'm missing a piece of the puzzle to unlock this door. This has to be men. The symbol here has to be men because it's, it appears here. And then that's in the structure of the sentence that appears twice. That one's free. We know that's R, so that has to be free. By process of elimination, this has to mean Abby. This is the only thing that can mean tower or the fortress in this scenario. But it, but it's saying I'm wrong. So is this using something from somewhere else? Sorry. Um, I don't know why they would... Uh, I don't know why the graffiti would be Abby, right? That doesn't make sense. Chat, do you have any thoughts? No thoughts, just vibes. I'm going to swap these, but I don't think that's right. Yeah. No, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that that's not men. Okay, can we solve any of the older puzzles? Did we solve all the older puzzles? We did. Good for us. Oh, perfect. Okay, well. Is it butts? It is not butts. Process of elimination. Hey, Jeffrey. I'm glad you can make it. Haven't seen you in a whole week. It is going... Going. I'm stuck on this puzzle. I, I should just move on. We're in the sewers, Jeffrey. We're in the sewers. Have you found patterns in this language yet? I found a few. So mostly, um, I clocked the question marks, that there's a question mark at the beginning of a sentence and at the end of the se uh, sentence, I clocked that straight away. Thanks, Spanish. Uh, and then we figured out how plurals work and we also figured out the subject verb agreement. So we've made some progress. However, this one's confusing me because this seems to be Maybe this is an indirect translation. So now, here's what I'm thinking. We're going to do a think aloud as I sit here with this puzzle. Okay, option one, which Occam's Razor says is the most likely solution, is that I don't have all the tools to solve this puzzle right now because I literally also am missing a puzzle piece. So that would make the most sense and I should just leave it be and come back. Option two is that... I'm getting thrown off because the syntax of the Chosen One's language is different than the Warriors and the Devoted. Is that what? I think they called themselves Devoted. So we have the men of the Abbey are free. Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Wait. Okay. 
I just had a light bulb moment. My first thought was maybe this is a flawed translation. Uh, in the sense that the ruling class get to make the rules. So maybe the devotees think that the Abbey men are free when they're not actually free. And maybe this is like the chosen ones are actually free. Uh, but the light bulb moment I just had is that this is actually a grammatical error that I made. Wherein it's not the Abbey men that are free because this is <laughs> the biggest clue is that I found the rebel base. And this symbol was painted on the wall, and why would Abby be painted on the wall? A question I asked myself like five minutes ago. No one's gonna be like, Abby! No, they're gonna say freedom! Silly, silly, silly. Okay, so then this means Abby. We did it. Look at us go. Wonderful. Those tablets are direct translations, but they use their own syntax. Yes, leg Legos. Oh, I thought it was legs on my desk. <laughs> the first time I read your username, I was picturing someone just like kicked up with their feet on their desk. It's like, oh, what a chill vibe name. And you were here last week too. So I don't know why I misread your name. Legos. Ignore that purple pattern for a while. It bugged me too, and I kept thinking it was part of the current puzzle. I am glad I didn't think it was part of the current puzzle because I would be going bananas. So, we did it! Yay for syntax errors. Okay, we can leave. And we still don't know what this place is. We called this place Butts. So. Okay, now we're back to our original issue of trying to get out of the sewers. <laughs> oh, another dead end. Oh, but there's a... There's a lever there. Okay. Is there a way to get to that lever? If there is, it is not simple nor straightforward. But let's see if the camera will pan and if there's anything over here. No, there's not. Okay, cool. That was a good waste of time. Okay, perhaps we need to go through this door to get to the lever. Perhaps. I My initial instinct was that these signs at the top of doorways were like street signs and it was telling me like, take these stairs and it will spit you out at the pagoda or at this level or that level. But now I think they reference places inside the sewers. I don't know, man. I We've been here before. We've undoubtedly been here before and I'm going to die. Yeah. Yep, we've definitely been here before and I was dead end. So we're going to die here. I'm pretty sure we've been here before, too. Good God. Um, there is some kind of directional clue, because we've been here before. There's a directional clue I am missing. Is it the pipes? Should I be following the pipes? In previous levels, I followed the pipes, and that worked well. But now there are no pipes. <laughs> so... The sewers are amazing. It doesn't help that orientation seems to change. Right? Can you read those door signs? Um, yes. I think. I have not confirmed my translations. But like... This symbol here was on the pagoda above ground. So... I think this symbol here means two, and this is a direction. Like, this goes to the pagoda. Um, I also saw this symbol on some of the other sewer doors. And I thought maybe it's like a city, like manhole covers, say, like, city of Scottsdale, right? That, that was my instinct. I don't know if that's true or not. And then I don't know if that means stairs, but there's, like, like two stairs or like goes above ground. Ipsilon one just followed. 
Hey, thanks for the follow. Epsilon? There's a pagoda underground? I have not been there. Let's go. Oh, um, also if you're just following or just chatting. If I don't know a symbol, I put butts. I call it butts. Uh, try the stairs if you want to get out. Ha ha ha, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> the sign for stairs is just like... You have to make at least like 16 turns in order to get anywhere. It's not my favorite. It's very confusing. But let's, let's just keep following the sign to the pagoda. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can we go straight? That's a dead end. We do not go straight. Last night we were playing, um... What is it called? Lethal Containment? That new multiplayer game? Where it's like, uh, Deep Rock Galactic, but with proximity text. Oh! Here's a lever! This isn't a pagoda. Lethal Company, yes. Yes, Howard. Thank you. Um, and so I'm having flashbacks to the mazes of that. I'm hearing a ring. Is that a ring? Do I feel like it's a ring? Uh, this is not a pagoda at all. But thank you, Epsilon, for the hint. Uh, because we got the ring! So I think my translation's wrong. Oh, we didn't get a ring. We got a compass. <gasps> These are directions. That makes so much more sense than butts. Oh boy. Okay. Do we have a symbol for compass? Where would we have found a symbol for compass? It says pagoda... Uh, I didn't mean to hint, just wanted you to know where you are. Oh, um, so Epsilon, I broke that. So the game's not saying Pagoda, it's me. It's my translation. So the game gives you a load of symbols that are blank, and then you get to write in what you think that symbol means. Which is awesome when you're right, but you might not be right. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm right. But your hint worked. Oh, you played the game before. Okay. So is my translation correct? I don't know if it's correct or not. All right, let's look at that compass and see if we can work out. Are you serious? I can't tilt it so I can see the... Oh my gosh, it's really frustrating. Okay, well, this is fun. So that appears to be north. And this is going to help me get out of the dungeon because I could look at the compass. And that symbol looks like that. So let's go north. Do you want me to tell you? Will not confirm or deny. That's a good question. That's very polite, Epsilon. And I appreciate you asking if I want spoilers. Let me try and figure it out. Crap, I hit the wrong button. Do I do this? Okay, so then this one must be south. And then maybe we can work out which one's for the compass. Okay, now we just gotta find east and west. Uh. This is really dorky, but I'm going to have to face north again. Sorry. Okay, so that would be west. You know what's really weird? And I would love to hear chat. I, I don't, did I, did I goof? I decide which one's north by using the compass to point. And I use the red arrow to indicate. Is the red side not the side that points to... 
hope I didn't get them all backwards. Uh, when I think of cardinal directions, I have to picture the United States map, and I have to picture, like, okay, you're looking at Canada. <laughs> Where is California? Okay, it's to the west. I don't know if anyone else does that. Use that. Okay, and then we just have east. And I could probably process of elimination it, but. Okay, I wanna be confident in my wrongness. Well, we did not get a new symbol for compass. But I actually don't know if we have a symbol for compass here. We could, of course, try this. I didn't think that was going to work. I don't know where we would have seen a symbol for compass in the dungeon. So let's just go out the exit. We got a new exit. Okay, but what is this tool for? This actually raised more questions than it answered. <laughs> so I'm excited. I was elated when I stepped outside and realized that this was the door that was blocked. So we unblocked that door. Great. This is the zone where we were trying to help someone by find, finding their ring. And it was definitely a ring. We saw in the sewer grate. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a ring. Maybe it was an issue of perspective. So it to it looked that's why I couldn't just reach in and get it. Okay. Okay. It was a compass. It was a perspective issue. Okay. I was confident that that was a ring. But it makes sense now. It was a compass from far away. And that's why I thought that the again like, you tell me this group of people is classist, and I will immediately assume the worst of them. So I thought this person was like, oh, I can't, I can't dip my hand in and sully my hand this, with the rain gutter. What did they use a compass for? Regardless, we are going to give them their stuff back. Except... I've now forgotten where they are. Oh, uh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Did I just skip them over? I went the wrong way. That's okay. We'll go back. I took the wrong way out of the sewer area. It was something shiny. Just artsy stuff. Well, in the warrior area, there was a, um, astrologer? No, astronomer. Astronomer. Okay, this is the starting area. Okay. So I have to go back one more, and then we'll get there. Um, so I'm shocked that the bards don't have scholars. You would think that there are scholars like embedded within the bards, maybe, maybe not. Some kind of researchers who get uh, information for the bards to write stories about. Okay, so that was the. I thought for sure it was over there. I have to go back back down here. Got it. Farts don't care about science. They just care about farts. <laughs> Roland the flatulist. This door. Nope. <laughs> I got so excited. I almost took the wrong way again. This door. Yay. I made it much more complicated than I had to be, but that's okay. We got another tour of the 
The monkey zone. Okay, this is the maybe pagoda. These people are just gone now? Where'd these people go? This still has to be help me, right? Okay, but they didn't say the word... Importantly, they did not say the word for compass, I don't think. The loser is gone. Aw, oh, Automod actually held that comment. <laughs> um, well, now I have the person's stuff. What am I supposed to do with it? Okay. Well, then the the ferryman just told me, go ahead, get on the boat. So, I guess I just get on the boat and go back across. Maybe now that this is fixed, the loser, because you are precise, they lost their compass. The the loser the loser is over here. Like a fairy, F E R R Y. To ferry across. Again, being precise, of course. The ferryman. Um, the only thing you can do is go straight, so I'm gonna do that. And then, I'm not seeing the loser, as we've called them. But I've only explored, I went immediately downstairs. So. I'm beginning to think I have the wrong translations. We got to a room that had the symbol on it and it had a bunch of mops, so I called it the janitor. And then this had like, in the sewer level at least, there was a, a room with a puzzle and a stone tablet and not much else. So I didn't know how to translate that. So I just said butts. So let's try going to janitor first, since I'm a little more confident. And that trans I at least tried that translation, I guess. Two butts. Okay, well this is a compass. So maybe we'll get the word for compass soon. We can also, we can go in a lot of different directions. Probably they all go in kind of a loop. So let's talk to these folks first. Greetings. You're not a warrior. <laughs> oh. Um, maybe that's not stairs. Oh boy, I don't know what that symbol means. Not to you do not find. I'm sorry, maybe that's compass? Sure. Maybe this is a person who lost their compass? Or are they calling me an idiot? Okay, maybe this word is stranger? Yeah, that must be stranger. I don't think it's stairs. But I don't know how that would work in the sewer scenario. I'm not stairs. I'm butts. Uh, okay. Oh. Let's just keep going. Oh, is this about to get even more worse? More worse? That's bad grammar. Is this about to get worse? Oh! Oh no, 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 I can't do it fast enough, I'm gonna die! I died. I do really, really, really like Flappy Bird. That's so cute. Okay, so maybe that's push? Because I had to push.
is a beautiful view and it's a beautiful game. I don't think I can do this. Oh, I want to like, I can't spam mouse fast enough. Oh, that's why. I don't have to do that. I can just, I can be gentle with it. Actually exactly like Flappy Bird. So then is, does this signify flat? No. Hold? Maybe hold. Because I'm actually holding it and not pushing it. Man, at this point, I don't even think I know what a verb is. Okay, what do I get for winning? Was I supposed to talk to someone before I played? Aw, uh -huh. can... oh, yeah! I got a coin! With butts! Okay, hear me out. Heads. Tails. Heads. Tails. Did our strategy of writing butts when we don't know things actually work? Heads and butts. Heads and butts. Heads and butts. Heads and butts. Alright, where is this going? Okay, blank. You love like. But you go past greetings. Ah, uh, hmm. Is that maybe game? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to circle back. I don't think I. Oh, thanks for the applause. What a nice person. All right here's another game. Find the idiot. Oh my god. This sucks. I don't which one's the idiot? I am so horrified. What does this do? Oh, that's the timer. Okay, that's the timer. Okay, so this is whack-a-mole. And the idiot is the blue? Maybe? Because that's the only different color I see on the screen. And it would be very... Oh, that was super fast. Uh, it would be very difficult to try and discern one of the yellow masks. So I'm going to assume that wants me to hit the blue. True. <laughs> I just got an achievement called True Gamer, but spelled in late speak because I won both of the games at the garden. <laughs> that game is very offensive, yes. Alright, what's this person to say? Comedy, do you like? Oh, I still don't know what the symbol means. It looks like, um, like someone's giving something, but I don't think this language works that way. Um, is it game? Is it win? Maybe win? Doesn't hurt to guess, so I'll just I'll guess. Okay. Well, I'm elite gamer, so that's good. Got that going for me. Oh, I was hoping to clear this level today in one stream, but I don't think that's going to happen because I'm getting hungry and I need to go eat lunch. Uh, but we spent the first little bit of the stream talking about the new H-Bomber guy video on plagiarism, which was, it's four hours long. So I haven't watched it all myself, but I watched like the first two hours and it's pretty good. So, In addition to that... Uh, In addition to needing to eat, I also want to watch the full video. But here is the rebel base. We have discovered where it is. So at least my theory about the place names being both. Oh, maybe this is a mill? Being both above ground and underground makes sense. So I think we're good on that. 
It's a windmill. Maybe it's a windmill? Not a janitor? Okay, let's talk to these people. Oh! You want push. It can't be push. But that's what I, I had to... Maybe it's hold. Maybe it's hold because I held the button down. I feel like I was supposed to come here before. I think this person has asked me for a quest item that I have, which is good, but that I'm maybe supposed to come here before. Windmill janitor, same thing. I think a lot of my translations are wrong. Win us. J janitor you hold. No, that has to be windmill. <laughs> Let's fix that right now, because that's a little awkward. Windmill you hold. Blank. You seek to carry possess. Well, this symbol is probably that. Whatever that is. The ice cream cone. So let's go explore. Can I look at what that ice cream cone is? I uh, okay. <laughs> so I think I've translated enough to know that this person's like, yeah, just hop on the windmill and ride it around until you can get that sick ice cream cone. So let's do it. I mean, janitor you hold at least made some sense. It's always the janitor you hold. Near and dear. We're gonna die. Can you die in this game? There's no way we make this out of this this oh no my own grammar and sentence structure in english is now broken there's no way we make it out of this alive good god i'm sorry you want me to do what oh this is bad this is so bad okay the timing has to be my vision okay Timing has to be so precise, or we're gonna die. There is no dying in this game. Just jump. Okay. Whoop. Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. I hate this. This one's slower. Oh, see, this is why I hate this. Okay. There's no delay, um, so I just have to wait till the bar clears, which is good to know. Oh, this one's fast. Ugh. Ugh. This one's slow again. I died on the slow one, which is embarrassing, but. Oh, this sucks. Okay, so there's big ones and then small ones. Um... Right, or are my eyes glazing over? I think they're small ones. Okay, so let's wait for the small one to go past. And I think we're good. Oh God, that was the small one. No. What did I just say? I didn't do my, my strategy. Oh, okay. Yeah, this game is very forgiving. Sure. Sure it is. For you, baby. I hate platforming. This is not platforming, but it has like the same vibes as platforming, where if you miss a jump, you're screwed. Oh god, it happened again! It keeps getting me! I keep I see the small one go by and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. You didn't get me, and then and then it'll get me, because then there's another small one. And I'm silly. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing it. We're doing it. We're running. We're doing it. We're done. We're never doing that again. I hate that. Ugh. All right, we got the ice cream cone. 
I don't know why we got this, because I can't understand anything. But we got it. This is kind of like the Statue of Liberty torch, right? The Statue of Liberty is ice cream cone. Oh, I thought I had to go back through. I was going to say, no, 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 no. Um. It's probably game, right? Uh, it's probably not ice cream cone. It's probably torch or fire. Um, let's climb, do we think? Is this climb? No, that's not climb. Okay. That's not butts. That's not that either. Nope. Uh. Oh, I was so far off. I was so far off on everything. That's to play. That's to ascend. I thought that was to hold. Oh, so it's Flappy Bird. You hold it and then you ascend. Got it. And that's fire. Okay. Well, you know. It's not so bad. Checking. Just checking. See if we have any. No, I don't think. I think we're missing the word for compass, and I think it's going to pop in right there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the fire, did you find it? Who are these youths? <laughs> oh, I have to give it to him? I don't want to give it to him. Why didn't they do that? I feel like I'm going to get bullied. and my ascend the flappy bird? <laughs> oh, this person's such a jerk. You're an idiot. Not to me. Idiot ascending is. Goodbye. <laughs> We're going to lock them all in the windmill and burn them alive, right? Do I still, so I have it in my inventory. What am I supposed to do with that? They are bullies. At least they take your ice cream. I know. Thank you. Thank you for letting me keep my ice cream. All right. <laughs> we got our ice cream. That's the most important thing. Uh, you want to ascend? You're an idiot. So is this, this has to do with the final level, right? Because it went devotees, warriors, chosen ones, and then basically god tier, right? Or are there five? I th oh, we had like the basic level before we got to the devotees? I don't know. There are two more levels. Okay. The game taught me this. In the first level, when you played the game that where you had to know like the card suit based on society structure, and I've forgotten it because that was weeks ago. Because I can only stream once a week because I'm really busy with the semester. Because I am an actual professor, as you all know. Um, the semester's ending though, so I might, might maybe be able to get another stream in. I might be able to do Thursdays again, which would be kind of fun. I'm a professor of video games. Ha, ah, that sounds like a joke, but no, really. Um, I have biometric set up because I teach games user research. So that's my area of expertise. My degrees are in social science and social behavioral science. So I like to study how people play video games. Um, that's why I have this equipment. So I teach students who make video games how to study their games to be better and to be more accessible and more usable. Yeah, I teach at the University of Utah. So uh, I, I am really professor Ashley uh and I'm really busy because it's finals time and I know students get super busy during finals and they're allowed to be busy and they're allowed to complain about being busy because it's a super stressful time um but I think people don't realize that's also as busy and as stressful for us professors because we're writing the exams and printing the exams and administering the exams and grading the exams and helping with final projects and having extended office hours and 
all that fun stuff. So um, maybe over winter break I can stream twice a week so we can finish this game. But my plan is next week, play again. Um, keep playing it until we finish it because it's a really cool game. I really like it. Uh, we started playing this in November, at the beginning of November. As soon as spooky season ended, we switched to Chance of Sonar, and I'm really glad we did. And I really want to finish it. Um, maybe I'll do some evening streams with... Um, why can't I remember? Lethal Company. Lethal Containers, I called it earlier. It's not Lethal Containers. It's Lethal Company. <laughs> oh, that's good times. Um, oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. The card gave me did, did show you four levels. Oh, oh, well, then I remembered it somewhat right. But that was a month ago. Being a professor of video games makes sense to me because I was once a student of video games. Oh, that's awesome, Jeffrey. I didn't know that. I never um, ask for people's identities on stream because that would be weird and creepy. <laughs> I know I have a lot of current and former students probably not current but I, I have some not a lot I have some former students who pop into my stream from time to time um, who I recognize because they were students during the pandemic time so I know their usernames or their handles uh, or they've DM me and told me afterwards uh, and it's so nice and heartwarming to see students come back uh, and then I have a lot of game developers who watch my stream um, because they're interested in having conversations about game design and games user research and different techniques, talk and shop, but in a silly fun way. Uh, and then um, I think I have some friends and family who tune in. So it's a pretty small community, but I really like my community and I have so much fun. Oh, Digipin, nice. I have so much fun on this stream. It's a uh, highlight of my week. So I appreciate y'all being here and watching me and playing along. Um, let's see who's online. Oh, o Period Productions is playing Cyberpunk 2027. 2027? That's a very, that'd be a very different game. Because that's in like nearly three years, which is scary to think. No, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my gosh. Good grief. Uh, so let's go ahead and, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed being here. Yay. Let's go raid um, zero period. I always call I always call them O period productions, which is very silly. I don't know why I do that. Uh, so they're playing cyberpunk. I think we should go raid them and say hi. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week. And then starting next week, our semester is over. Ha 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 ha. Huge asterisk. Because that's when... I get to grade papers and proctor exams and finish up some administrative work and have meetings with some service work. And then I have a couple journal journal articles I've been neglecting. Um, but it means that I will have Thursday nights free-ish. So I might stream on Thursdays as well. I will update the Discord and I'll like put the schedule thing on here. Um, and then maybe we can play this game a little bit more, or I can also stream a silly night of uh, like a multiplayer game or something that's just for fun and isn't analytical. I actually want to play. I want to play Lethal Company with biometrics on. That'd be very fun. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Yay, grading! <laughs> See you all next week. Bye.